it is different uh, uh, layers of half guard, let's say like that. Okay, you could have this, what is a kind of shield, what I consider half guard, what can easily come in here, what can easily come here and easily shift to this, what easily could shift to this, what easily could shift to this, what easily could shift to this. Those are all different layers of half guard, okay? And then people redefine a quarter guard, six cent guard, fifty cent guard, you know. It's, <laughs> it's so many, so many. De la Riva, <laughs> guarda. It's so many, so many it's, the, it's the, the layers of the same thing, you know, it's, it's the, the concepts on the, on the half guard. When I'm using, when one of my legs is on bottom and the other leg is sometimes inside, sometimes he beat my leg, but he still, he cannot go through my bottom leg. Okay? What I should to do to beginning with is not let him control my neck. Okay? When he comes in here to start, he already chooses where I'm going to be. And I should be the person who chooses where I want to be, not him. You know, so I try to always, you know, have this hand blocking his bicep. Okay? If he's holding here, I could, you know, even push it up and breaking, same as De La Riva was breaking yesterday or the day before. Okay, you want to stretch your body and you break. So you don't want him to control your head. Okay? So, I have this control here. What I will do is, once I have so much space, and it's also good to, to go against uh, opponents bigger than you, because they, you don't carry his weight, okay? So I will come and I will put my heel inside, okay? Uh, in IBJJF, what they consider Jiu-Jitsu rules, uh, it's not allow heel hooks in any circumstances, but in other tournaments and, you know, I bet the New Zealand and Australia IBDJF rules are not so popular. <laughs> so it's very common attacking heel hooks. Okay, so to avoid that, you know, if you put your toes inside, you just get your heel on his hip, okay? And my knee, I try to position right here on the, on the intersection between his shoulder and his arm. Okay? This hand, some people like to make the grip uh, lower. I personally, I like to hold the tricep and I close my elbow above his hand. If he makes a grip, it's even better for me. Okay? Because that means he doesn't want to keep moving his arm, so I'm just putting my arm in here. And I keep blocking here, sometimes even on his wrist. Okay? What I'm going to do now, I'm going to stretch my leg. Okay? I stretch my leg and I'm going to come with my hand under. Okay? In between my leg and his ribs. Okay? This leg here, I'm doing this for a long time so I don't have to worry too much because I, I can kind of feel when the guy is going to move and I normally get some control on this, this arm. So I, I pull my arm and I pull my heel deeper. So what you can do you can pull your leg a little bit out and put your toes on the floor to stop him to try to kick and go around, you know? So you put your toes on the floor like that. Okay, this will help. Or you can go really deep and keep pulling your heel to your butt. The problem on that is you keep using energy to do that. And I'm all about safe, you know, safe defense. Sustainable Jiu Jitsu. The guy has the label guard that has sustainable Jiu Jitsu. 
Nobody knows what it is, but maybe I'll tell you here. Okay? So I kick this leg up, I will underhook, and I will kind of do like a catapult move with my leg. I'm going to kick my leg forward, and I will sit up. I would sit up like that, from all the way high here. My hand doesn't come on his back, because then he can wizard and put pressure, you know, with my, my shoulder messed up. If I catch a wrestler here, he's going to rip my, my arm from my body. So, you should not underhook with your hand on, on his back. You want the hook on under his butt or high on his shoulder. Okay? So then his wizard is weak. So I get in here. Now I step on the floor. It will be almost, you know, very similar to what we did yesterday on the triangle and the foot on the ground to escape the hip. But now I'm going to put my foot on the floor and I'm going to escape my hip forward. Okay? My foot goes on the ground, my hips go forward. Okay, and my opponent goes above my head. So I come here, I reach, okay, put my head on his hip and pull him over me. Okay, I go really deep and now I close the half guard. What I did, I separate his body from his leg or his leg from his body. And I just want to deal with his leg. Okay? I'm a big boy, but if I have to go with wrist, you know, I don't want to deal with his whole upper body. Once I get in here, now I'm fine. I hug here and I, and I stay. And then here will be tons of positions. So the easiest one, if his leg is closed, is just come, make a pocket grip, you know, pull your arm outside, come to the top. Then pull the knee and pull the knee, put the knee down. Or try to attack his back. Okay? Uh, so, some of you have been with me before, you already heard this explanation. Mike and Shannon. She's asleep. <laughs> she already knew. Uh, <laughs> if I wanna. Create, create space, what I do is not pushing him, it's not moving backward. I'm going to push him and move backward. I'm going to do this. I create more space. If I want to close the gap, if I want to escape under him, I want to not pull him, not move close. I want to pull him and move close. So I can cover more area to close the gap or over more area to create the gap. Okay? So that's exactly what I'm doing here. On the same time that I go forward and dig deep, I control here, okay? Now I'm gonna pull him over and I'm gonna keep moving forward. Otherwise they're gonna be here. Okay? It's not that bad, but now I'm dealing with his upper body. His wizard will be much more efficient. Okay? So that's not where I want to be. I want to be... So I want to be here. When I step on the floor, I escape. You know, and I go really deep. Now I catch his leg. No wizard. Try to wizard, Casey. That's nothing. He can't. It's, it's terrible. If he wizard, he's putting himself... As deep as he try wizard, he's coming with his butt close to the floor, you know? And then, I can just roll on top. So, through here, you can reach from the pants or the foot. Don't go over his hip. I cannot reach. I come under, okay? And I control, or I control here. Or even pull first. And control. And go to the top. Okay? Let's try. And be very honest with you guys, I'm much more worried with the way to get there than the, the sweep itself. 